August, I'm back, baby. Jake Paul, that loudmouthed YouTuber turned boxer, just went and did the unthinkable. He called out none other than the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson, for what he's dubbed the biggest fight of the 21st century. Yeah, you read that right. The problem child himself has somehow convinced the legendary Tyson to lace up the gloves one more time and step into the ring against him. Insane, right? Yes, you heard that right. The brash and controversial Jake Paul has somehow managed to secure a bout with one of the most fearsome and iconic heavyweight champions of all time, Mike Tyson. This announcement has sparked a massive debate online, with fans and pundits weighing in on who will emerge victorious in this highly anticipated clash. On one side, you have the 27-year-old Jake Paul, a relative newcomer to the sport, but one who has quickly gained notoriety for his in-ring antics and trash-talking abilities. On the other side, you have the 58-year-old Mike Tyson, a boxing legend known for his devastating knockout power and his ferocious fighting style. Let's rewind and break down how this colossal clash came to be. Just a few days ago, Jake took to Instagram and dropped a bombshell that left us all in disbelief. His post was captioned, promotion, promotion, promotion. If I'm being honest, it doesn't need that. The biggest fight of the 21st century in the biggest NFL stadium in the US broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world. That's the MVP way. He continued, whether you're tuning in on Netflix or showing out in person, whether you're Team Paul or Team Tyson, or whether you're a lifelong boxing fan or watching your first fight, you're not going to want to miss this event. The announcement was accompanied by a face-off video between Paul and Tyson, which only added fuel to the fire. The comments section was flooded with reactions ranging from disbelief to excitement and everything in between. Some users questioned the wisdom of a young, up-and-coming boxer like Paul taking on a seasoned veteran like Tyson, even at the latter's advanced age. Comments like, why would a young lad in his prime want to fight a 60-year-old man? And, he honestly looks scared were common. Others couldn't help but poke fun at the absurdity of the matchup, with one user suggesting that Paul should fight Muhammad Ali next, since he's already taking on a boxing legend well past his prime. Of course, Jake Paul himself is full of confidence and bravado, as he typically is. In the same Instagram post announcing the fight, he boldly declared, My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous boxer of all time. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep. Paul has also taken to social media to address the significant age gap between himself and Tyson, acknowledging that while Tyson may be the greatest heavyweight of all time and the most vicious KO artist ever, he, Paul, is younger and faster, and he's going to be working his ass off to get stronger. In a subsequent tweet, Paul shared a video of Tyson training, which he claims was sent to him by a member of his team. The video shows Tyson still packing a serious punch despite his advanced age. Paul's response? Yes, yes, I do want to do this. While Jake Paul may be oozing confidence, the prospect of facing Mike Tyson in the ring is no small feat, even for a younger, more agile boxer. Tyson, despite being 58 years old, is still a force to be reckoned with, as evidenced by his recent training footage. In a video released just yesterday, Tyson can be seen throwing a series of devastating punches and combinations, showcasing the power and ferocity that made him one of the most feared fighters in boxing history. The clip has left many wondering if Paul has bitten off more than he can chew. As one viewer commented, you're telling me if one of those lands on Jake Paul's face, he won't get knocked out. The debate rages on as to whether this fight will be an exhibition bout or a professional match. If it's the latter, the stakes will be even higher for Jake Paul, who would be risking his burgeoning boxing career against a living legend known for his knockout prowess. Adding to the intrigue surrounding this matchup is the reaction of UFC President Dana White, who is a self-proclaimed friend of both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. When asked about the upcoming fight, White didn't mince words. He, Tyson, gets mad when I do this, but Mike is 60, man. I don't know what to think. Who gives a expletive what I think? It's not my fight, White said. He went on to express his admiration for Tyson, calling him one of his favorite athletes of all time, but also expressed concern over the 31-year age difference between the two fighters. I don't like to see guys fighting with a 31-year age difference during that fight. Just, you know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. White added, 
While White's comments may not be a ringing endorsement, they do underscore the gravity of the situation and the potential risks involved in a matchup of this nature. As anticipation builds for this colossal clash, some key details have emerged. According to Jake Paul, the bout will take place on July 20th in the biggest NFL stadium in the US and will be broadcast live on Netflix, the biggest streaming platform in the world. Paul has promised that this will be the biggest fight of the 21st century, and whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying that he knows how to generate buzz and controversy. But the real question on everyone's mind is, who will emerge victorious? Will the brash young upstart Jake Paul somehow find a way to put Iron Mike to sleep as he boldly claims? Or will the legendary Tyson remind the world of his knockout prowess and put an abrupt end to Paul's boxing aspirations? The opinions are divided, but one thing is certain. Come fight night, the entire combat sports world will be tuned in to witness this historic clash of generations. Whether you're a lifelong boxing fan or someone simply drawn in by the spectacle, this is a fight you won't want to miss. So there you have it, fight fans. The stage is set for what promises to be one of the most talked about boxing events in recent memory. Will Jake Paul pull off the unthinkable and slay the dragon that is Mike Tyson? Or will the young upstart get a harsh reality check at the hands of the baddest man on the planet? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the hype train for Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is already leaving the station, and it's picking up steam with every passing day. What are your thoughts on this matchup? Do you think Jake Paul has a chance against the legendary Iron Mike, or is this just another shameless publicity stunt from the YouTube sensation? Only one way to find out, fight fans. Mark your calendars for July 20th, because this is a showdown you won't want to miss. Whether you're tuning in to see the young gun pull off the unthinkable, or witness the legendary Tyson rekindle his glory days, it's gonna be an unforgettable night. That's a wrap for today, fam. Y'all know the drill. Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a single update on this earth-shattering matchup. And let me know your predictions in the comments. I'm gonna fight Mike Tyson. I mean, the guy is, you know, he's nearly 60. And, um, 26-year-old against a 60-year-old? I don't know, I don't float my boat. Mike's 60, man. I, I don't know. 31-year age difference. Jake Paul is set to fight Mike Tyson July I swear to God! Oh, geez, I don't, it's, a bit, it's a bit strange. You know, the interest is low and I don't know. I don't understand it. I wish well for Mike. Like, I don't give a f That guy will hurt you. He's now old. That doesn't feel fair. So to beat him when he's past his prime just feels dishonorable. You know, Jake Paul is obviously, you know... My family loves Jake Paul. Could you f*** him up? Oh, I feel fucking easy. Is Jake Paul about to etch his name in the history books? Or is he way over his head against Iron Mike? The debate rages on. Until next time, folks.